All right, YouTube. So here's the deal. It is 2 a.m. I'm leaving a house that I'm building right now. So you kind of see. I think this will be the first video that I post on this. So it's about to get dark. So it is 2 a.m. on a Tuesday evening. I'm leaving a house that I'm building here. About to go home, go to bed. So I can get up tomorrow morning, go to work at my normal job, and then do it all again. So the question is, the purpose of this video is to get your opinion on whether or not I should make I should start adding videos and content to a YouTube channel about wrapping up this house. So, like I said, it's 2 a.m., I believe. Let's see here. It's 1.30, okay. It's only 1.30 a.m. on a Tuesday evening, April 9th or 10th or 8th or I don't even know. Here's a little glimpse of the outside if you can see it. It's pretty dark out. But, like I said, this is my daily routine that I get up, I go to work at my normal job, put in a full day of work there, come here, work till 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, something like that. You know, a couple days a week I go home, spend time with my family, my wife and kids, currently living at my wife's parents house in their basement thankfully we have a great support system with my wife's parents and my parents um, but you know this is a house we've been working on for a long time and even though we're still not drywalled in my mind we're in the home stretch because I don't think I can drywall it. I'm gonna, my wife and I will insulate it. We'll probably have it drywalled. And then at that point, we can bang out a couple rooms and move into it. So, my question is, do you guys think I should start uploading some content to YouTube about this project, about me finishing it? I'd like to be moved into it by July. My kids' birthdays are in July. It'd be awesome if we could be living there and celebrate their 10th and 12th birthdays in July in the new house. It's been a, lot, a long time coming and today like I said is early April so that leaves me about two and a half to three months to get that house done to the point where we can at least get an occupancy permit and get moved in. So it's kind of dark, you can't really see me. So I'll just keep videoing my path here. My, my evening path that I take every night. People tell me, well, what's taking you so long? What's taking you so long to get that place done? Well, <laughs> I'm one person and I'm paying out of pocket as I go. So we, we do have a mortgage on the property, obviously. Um, but basically all materials I'm paying out of pocket. So that makes it move slow too because you can only afford so much extra per month. I think I pulled something like 12,000 feet of Romex. I buy Romex by the thousand foot spool. And I've bought tons of spools. So um, it just takes a long time and I'm one person. Normally you have a whole crew doing this kind of stuff. So anyways, I'll uh, cut this video off. So this will be the first video I upload. We've got a couple other videos of tours of the home, the first floor, the second floor, the basement, the exterior. I've got tons of pictures and videos from my, you know, from the very beginning when I bought an old beat up farmhouse and tore it apart, demolished the whole interior and built it on a, built on the whole addition and roofed it, sided it, threw in the windows doors, trim work on the exterior, painted it, you know, all the plumbing, gas lines, heating, electrical, you know,
know, and that's where I'm at today. So now I need to get in three months a portion of the interior done to where we can live there. And if I start uploading some of this to YouTube, maybe some of you guys can motivate me and tell me some shortcuts or some things I can do now that the mechanicals are almost done. I can bang out the drywall or the insulation. You know, either bang out part of the drywall myself or hire that out. I drywall the mechanical rooms and I'm too much of a perfectionist to drywall it. I could definitely hang the drywall, but I don't think I could finish the drywall. That's just, ugh, that's like a, that's an art form. I give drywallers credit. Um, so anyways, let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll start posting more videos. So appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good evening. And uh, with the glare from these headlights, maybe you'll be able to see me a little bit here as I drive home. Have a good evening and uh, take care. See ya.